Hey, Anaya. Hi. Thank you. What's it say? A gift for you. Happy birthday, Anaya. Hope you had a wonderful birthday. God bless you, sweet heart from Alex Space. Does it say Alex or Alexis? Alexis Space. What's in there? It's books. What's that book called? Zardy Stories for Girls with God-Sized Dreams. Can, you, can I see? Cool. What's the other one? This is 50 True Stories of Daring Women of God. Congratulations, World Changers. This is Courageous. Courageous World Changers. Thank you, Alexis Space, for these books. So, thank you, Alexis, for sending the birthday gift to Anaya. She's gonna enjoy reading those books. So we actually got turkeys today. I'm going to show you them. We got five of each kind. We got, um, we ordered them from Murray McMurray and we got the black Spanish, I think it's called red bourbon and blue slate, I think are the three kinds we got. I'm gonna turn you around. So this brown one right here is called the red bourbon. Um, these grayish yellow ones right here are called the blue slate. And then the black ones are the black Spanish, I think. They, I thought they were chickens when I first got them. I don't know, I expected them to look different. Um, but, so we have our new turkeys. And they're very active, much faster and bigger than uh, chickens, so very curious. So I'm in the garden. I've just been moving this hose around. I need to tie up these tomatoes. I still haven't tied them up from the storm. I haven't had time, but I've been moving this hose to different beds. And in this bed, I found some interesting things. So we have cantaloupes in here. So there's like two right there, one here and a smaller one there. We have one in there. And then I think we have other ones. I know there's ones forming. I haven't uh, trellised up this cantaloupe, obviously. So it's kind of just growing out instead of up. Okay, so I kind of took three vines and stuck them up. So that worked for now. Oh, I just turned around and saw a watermelon there. That's cool. So earlier I saw some squirrels running out of here and they definitely I think were in here because this is all dug up and there was no dogs in here so definitely think this is from squirrels. So I'm actually going to have to come back out here. I didn't know I had Chinese noodle beans. You guys saw me make a dinner out of these but these would be the first red ones. On another note I have many more sunflowers so this was the first one that opened but since then we've had so many more and i think all of these are the teddy bear dwarf because they all look alike but i'm thinking these might be the sunflower C steve ones i'm hoping Okay, so I was just out here. I just went inside to get a head uh, thing to dye my braids up because it is so hot out here. 
I've been out here with the girls. So we separated all of the trees. Um, so all of like the apples, pears, plum, peach, whatever, big tree like that, we put along the fence. Then I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we did with the smaller trees. So I guess this isn't a tree, but I have all my grapevines right here. This whole section right here is all the blackberries. This section is the blueberries right here this is just a random shasta daisy that i want to plant i planted this last year from seed um when we still lived in our trailer and it finally bloomed this year so i am going to plant it in ground and let it have its final resting place somewhere then right here are all uh peonies um i have a hydrangea somewhere or maybe one of these are hydrangeas i don't know where the hydrangea went um then back here are the trees that i got the citrus trees that i got from fast uh growing trees um then here are my four elderberries um over in this section i still haven't separated them but i still have lots of uh blackberries over here um and then these are some apple trees and i think mulberry trees i haven't separated this section these were the last uh, fruit trees and vines that I got um, then in these containers I have my roses sitting in them so I want to add some soil because as you can see the soil has dropped down substantially uh, especially in this one this one not so much but this one definitely a lot of soil has um, left and uh, well not left but I put where my kids put like leaves and sticks and stuff like that and so it's just flattened down a lot so i want to add some soil back into here i bought out my seeds and some fertilizer my son helped me fill this bed finally it's been forever i definitely didn't want to go this long um not filling this bed but it's been crazy busy so i decided that i'm actually going to plant out um this bed with three no four crops i have these sweet potatoes down here that i've been uh i actually planted these back in i think january i did a video on them and they've grown so many slips but the problem is is that every time i put them in water i like knock them down or something and then they just never i have only made about maybe 20 to the ground but these have produced so many slips so today i'm thinking i'm just going to take the whole sweet potato that i have and plant it inside of this metal bed i also just randomly put a slip right here all of these holes are bug damage um which to me is fine because they're still grow uh sweet potatoes it just doesn't look uh great i'm pretty sure this was from the cucumber beetles i mean not the cucumber beetles the japanese beetles but we'll still use those i had wanted to put um all my sweet potato slips in this bed and at the time only this much had rooted and so i had planted this and then i had put the rest of them that didn't have roots back inside of a container and the container got knocked over again so this half of the bed right here will not have the rest of the sweet potato slips like i was thinking but i'll just plant something else in here this was another bed that i had sweet potato slips that looked like they were we're just gonna die and so i put them in here and now they seem to be growing they're much bigger than when i put them in here this grass has been popping up everywhere everywhere so i'm gonna actually get planting this metal bed if i could only grow three plants um it would have to be bush beans which is actually my number one favorite thing to grow uh that's not a flower that's actually a vegetable i love bush beans um i love them because you do not need a trellis for them i actually never grew pole beans until this year is my first year growing pole beans because i never had um trellising for it and so i love bush beans because it just doesn't need a trellis it's super low you can harvest lots from it so that's my number and the seeds are big so like kids can like easily plant them no problem so that's actually my number one favorite thing to grow you can plant nine in a square foot if you're using the square foot gardening method so i love that that you can plant them close together 
they come in all different colors if you get colorful ones you know i think it's fun for kids if you um, saute them then they turn green like if you get the purple potted bush beans and then saute them they turn green kids think it's fun so that's my number one favorite thing to grow i love that you could get them in all different colors and varieties my second thing that i would grow is squash like zucchini because it produces a lot and you can shred it um you can saute it you can grill it whatever you want make zucchini boats with it it produces a lot it produces fast just like um uh, bush beans bush beans produces in like maybe 55 52 to 55 days uh in very ideal growing um situation like in the summer you know um then same thing with zucchini about 55 60 days it'll start producing so i love that you can do that with zucchini you can also shred it i've watched so many videos where people use zucchini to thin out their or bulk up their tomato sauces and so you can put it in sauces you can make zucchini bread you can do so many things with it so definitely i'm gonna put zucchini in here um and then the last thing would be sweet potatoes one because in the summer it's hard to grow greens here in south carolina because it is literally 100 degrees uh like every day and with the humidity it goes like above 100 degrees it's so hot i think today was like 94 but with the humidity the heat index was over 100 so sweet potatoes not only do you get the sweet potato after but you can actually use the sweet potato vines to um, saute and use as spinach and in the summer i thought i saw i don't know what my ducks were doing anyway in the summer having a leafy green if that's something that you're interested in you live in a hot hot place then sweet potato vines they grow really really long and really really wild and so you can cut some of those and use it as a leafy green so sweet potatoes bush beans and zucchini or another kind of squash that looks like kind of like zucchini that you could use like zucchini would be my three things if I can only grow that I would continue to grow if I just had one bed that's what I would grow I'm gonna plant that in this side this bed I uh, like I told you guys I am done with slips so I'm just going to be taking those whole potatoes and planting them straight in the ground and we will harvest them together I here in South Carolina still I first frost isn't probably till like November 2nd or something we're in June we have July August September October um, yeah, so we still have 120 plus days for my uh, sweet potatoes to grow. And so I would say an average uh, growing would be 120 days for your sweet potatoes. And so I would be pu pulling these sweet potatoes out right before my frost, like the day before my frost. Um, and so I will leave that in this whole season my uh, squash and my bush beans. I can probably succession sow those two more times um, when I plant them here and then because bush beans give you all of the beans that it's going to give you all at once kind of just like determinate tomatoes give you all of the tomatoes at once so I can probably harvest those replant it again same thing with squash if a squash bug got it or a vine borer or something like that I could take it out replant it again still have a harvest before my last frost like with all of my raised beds that I've done out here, I am going to be adding uh, blood meal as well as some bone meal to this garden bed. We actually filled this up. I don't remember showing that, but we filled this up to about this much from the top with, I had uh, food scraps in there. I had the leaves, I mean the feathers from our chickens that we butchered in here. I had, um, wood chips leaf, dried leaves uh dead plants that didn't have any diseases in them um what else did i put in there twigs just anything that could bulk this up um so that i didn't have to fill the whole bed with soil then we took topsoil bags that i had left over we had mushroom compost black cow and a bag of garden soil that I got on clearance at Aldi for $1.99. Added that on top. Now I'm gonna add in these amendments and then we'll get the planting. So 
So I am actually going to take advantage of this being along a gate or a fence and I'm going to actually plant some cucumbers that I did not uh, get a harvest off of. So I have this salt and pepper pickling cucumber from Johnny Seeds that um, I planted but I have not had a salt and pepper. Um, I also have this bushy cucumber. I have this miniature white that I did plant but it died. And then I also have this Space Master. I think I have one Space Master somewhere, maybe, I'm not sure. But I am going to be planting them along this fence. I'll do the salt and pepper, this bushy one, miniature white, and Space Master. So the only one out of those four cucumbers that will get really um, like a regular long vine is the salt and pepper the space master miniature white and bushy would only grow about two to three feet um of vine which i think will be perfect in this area right here then i'm going to be planting i think my sweet potatoes over in this section and then i will do or maybe i will do my what's it called zucchini in this section and then I'll do my bush beans here and then I'll put my um, sweet potatoes along the front so that they can vine out. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I have my tray of sweet potatoes and like I said I started these I think in January. Wow so that it's actually starting to grow. A sweet potato right there so I'm gonna flip this over Okay, now that I got those sweet potatoes planted, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the uh, cucumbers. Next, this one is going to be the salt and pepper. And I am going ahead and planting three seeds. Uh, one, because this has a bunch of seeds. <laughs> this has 250 seeds. And two, since it's so late in the season, I wanna make sure that I have at least one germinated. This one's the bushy cucumber, then the miniature white, and then last, the space master. Okay, now I'm going to work on the bush bean section. Okay, so I actually took some sticks and made a line to separate where I'm going to plant my uh, squash at. And then this is my bag of all of the bush beans, and I think there's pole beans in here too that I have. But I am going to actually plant this top crop bush bean. So a lot of my just regular green bean that have no color, I do get them from Dollar Tree because you can get four for a dollar. Um, and this is a 50 to 55 day variety. Um, and so I like that you can get four packs for one dollar. Um, that's like the cheapest. And this is considered an heirloom variety. If you guys didn't know that Dollar Tree does have heirloom varieties if you're into that sort of thing. And I've always had great germination with their uh, seeds. I think this is about two, two-ish square feet, maybe a little bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant about nine, 18, maybe I'll plant 27 of these bean seeds. And I'm going to do the top crop bush. Okay, last but not least, I am going to plant my zucchini here. Um, I'm going to, I just have regular dark green zucchini. I believe these seeds were from the Dollar Tree as well because anything that's just like regular plant 
I like to get from the Dollar Tree um, because their seeds germinate just fine. I save buying seeds from like online and my gardener and stuff for more specialty seeds. I'm planting two over there and then I'm gonna do two over here and when they germinate I'll just keep two plants instead of all four so this whole bed is finally planted out I feel so good about it because I was just like man like this bed has been sitting here waiting to be planted for so long but I've been so busy with the end of school and with for my kids and then my counseling school work and birthdays and just regular parenting life um so very happy to have this planted we have our squash we have our beans we have our sweet potatoes we have our cucumbers um which is awesome so